we started talking about it, but state schools and private schools, are they looking at the same things? Um, generally, yes, they both look at the transcript, they both look at the SAT, but state schools tend to be more formulaic in their admissions process. Um, you have University of California system, right, on, on the websites for the schools, they have an index, right, your GPA times 1,000 plus your SAT. If you're above the cutoff, you have a chance at getting in, right? It doesn't guarantee you're going to get in, but you have a chance at getting in. If you're below the cutoff, it guarantees you won't get in, right? But because they have to make, you know, they have a lot more applications, usually the smaller staff, they need quicker ways for making a decision. So that SAT and GPA tends to be more important at a state school. They won't look as much at your activities, the strength of the school, essay, and, and other things. Um, again, you know, just talking about the economy, because of the way it is, more and more families are only allowing their children to apply to in-state state schools. Um, another thing, though, is that some of the state schools, because of the economy, states are cutting their subsidies to the schools. So uh, UMass, they have announced that they are targeting out-of-state residents as part of their strategy to grow and improve the school, because you pay about three times the tuition as an in-state resident. There are some states that definitely give preference to their residents, but a lot of states, they really only give preference through the tuition, right? It's the in-state residents get the lower tuition, but in the admissions process, they don't really care wh where you're from when they're making the decision. But I've noticed that, um, and we'll get into it a, a little later on, I've built a database of college-based merit scholarships across the country uh, called over 1,200 different colleges. And, you know, in the last week, we were updating our information on Northern Arizona University, and they have way more scholarships for out-of-state students than they do for in-state students. Um, and so a lot of them then are targeting the out-of-state students as a way to make up for budgeting shortfalls. So there may be options there. And uh, again, it, it may make it more difficult to get into UConn, but now you may be more likely to get a, a scholarship to a private college or to an out-of-state state school. 